complete YouTube guitar nerds. Not a guitar today, not a pedal today. You are crazy because you're gonna spend some time with me listening to different sounds of picks. And you're right to do so. And uh, I was wrong to ignore that part of the equipment for such a long time because it is directly linked to the thing that makes the sound, the string. And we spend time thinking about cables and guitars and pedals and amps and speakers and all this stuff, maybe microphones, but very little time dealing with picks. A plectrum, as we call it. Um, I didn't think about these things at all. And then I was uh, on the Musik Messe 2015 with my good friend Thor. And we ran around with a big-ass hammer. And then the guy from Timbertones, I got his business card right here. Uh, Rob Wooler was like, hey, take a picture. Well, what happened was, you know, this. This is him trying to arm wrestle the God of Thunder. And uh, he gave me two picks for me just showing up with the God of Thunder. He gave me this laser cut, don't ask me what it's called, uh, laser tone, I think that's what they call them. Don't know if you can see this. Can you see this, Leslie? Well, here's a picture of it. He gave me that, and um, then he also gave me the thing that you're seeing now, which is a titanium, I think it's titanium pick, and, uh, well, I'll play around with them. I have to say, years ago, I played wooden picks. Um, I had two wooden picks and one made out of bone, and I played them for a long time, but then they were played down after quite a while, and uh, I, for some reason, stopped doing it and just went to the standard plastic stuff again. And um, back in my days, one of these wooden picks ran you about 15 euro. Bone was even more expensive. And I looked at prices, you can buy these at Toman, which is, of course, convenient. Um, and many other places, but I saw them in Toman. And a wooden pick runs you between, like, you know, 350 to maybe 5 euro, depending on the quality and the wood. That is dirt cheap. A four-pack even cheaper. And Timbertones has over two freaking hundred varieties. How are you supposed to pick your kind of wood, your kind of stone... Uh, Mother of Pearl, Abalone, um, different rocks, lava, what am I forgetting, metals. They make a 100 pound silver pick. And if that's not crazy enough for you and you really want to spend your money on stuff, be crazy and buy the 1,500 pound 18 karat gold pick. Why not? Come on. A little crazy. But... Uh, they're actually pretty cool because uh, the website looks very good. It is something something timber tones. Dub 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 timber minus tones dot com. And um, what I really like is they first of all they have beautiful pictures. They have demo videos. Hopefully this one now. And they offer you single picks, they offer you four packs, they offer you tins with 20 or 12 or whatever, and they offer you subscriptions. So you can have a monthly or annual subscription and you always get, you know, the newest picks. So you never have to think about it, pay once for the whole year, and every month you get uh, a new selection of picks. Very cool. This video can only really show you a rough idea of the sound. Experiencing it is everything. Um, the woods obviously sound a little bit rounder than the standard plastic. The metal, which I just added a little bit in the end because it's going to be a whole video about metal picks. Metal picks. Um, it sounds sharper and on the low strings kind of grindy, which, is, which can be very cool. But the wooden picks sound fatter, rounder, a little bit less scratchy and bitey than the standard plastic. Show the screen, Leslie. Can you see that? Everything that's red is my standard plasticky Jim Dunlop. And then you see tons and tons and tons of different tracks, which is actually this pack that they sent me, sent them to me, which they sent me, the, the, this pack that they sent me. The, which, which, blah, 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 which is 18 of their standard wood picks. They don't have carvings, they don't have laser, it is straightforward 
and 18 different kinds of wood. And I'm trying to show you the difference in sound. I played them the first time for this demo, and every time I struck the string, I felt a tiny difference. I mean, the differences are minute, but they are there. They, you hear them in the mids, you hear them in the high end, uh, maybe it's a little bit, the attack is rounder than another one. So there are differences. Really the only way for you to know which one to buy is buy a variety, maybe buy this, play them, and then you find out which is your favorite. Um, I highly recommend that for this demo you use uh, headphones. Don't listen to it on your iPhone or even worse, a Samsung or something. Don't listen to it with your iPad or laptop speakers. I sometimes do that too, but I'm an idiot, you know that. Um, no, this we're talking about minute little details here. I didn't do any distortion. This is all clean tones, pentatonic scale up, some more attacky stuff on a single note, and then an arpeggiated chord. Every time you hear the wood pick, before that, you hear my Jim Dunlop USA heavy gel red pick, which I've used a long time now. Um, as a reference. For me, that's a reference pick. So every time you hear the same stuff played with this, I know it gets annoying after a while, but you have to, you know, hear the reference of the stand that you probably also play. I am playing this with, if you can follow me, my PRS Modern Eagle in single coil on the front pickup. I picked single coil because you hear a lot more detail in the string and the metal than on the humbucker sound. It's going into my custom shop 50 Karl Martin head which is the most honest amp <coughs> which is the most honest amplifier there is you put crap in crap comes out that's how Saren Youngberg from Karl Martin explained it put shit in shit comes out put a shitty pedal in you will hear that the pedal is shitty put a good pedal in it's gonna sound good so this is a very 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 high-end setup mic'd with an SM57 and a uh, ribbon mic for the low end so that you hear all the detail. What else can I say? Hopefully Timbertones likes it and sends me the metal, the stone. They even make felt and leather for acoustic guitar to kind of mimic your finger, your flesh sound. Um, and ukulele felt picks, very cool idea. Um, I'm getting a copper top guitar from Isaac Baruman in some time, and they have copper picks. It's gonna have copper hardware, a copper top, copper, copper, copper everywhere. Well, it's gonna be played with Timbertone's copper picks, which I'm gonna add in the end just as a bonus. Bonus. Um, and now here is 7 minutes and 40 seconds of the same part played with different picks. I would say enjoy, but I'm not sure that's the right word. But if you're interested in timber tones, I try to give you the most objective overview over the wood pick collection of 18 different wood picks. How much wood would wood pick pick if a wood pick could pick wood? No, that doesn't make any sense. I'll see you. <laughs>